Hello. Um, I'm Ryan, and I haven't uploaded in a while, but, um, anyways, Logic World is now officially released, as uh, you see down there, 0 0.90.1, and this is my first major build since then. This is a fully programmable 16-bit CPU. Okay. Yeah, do you wondering where it is? Well, that's because it's over here. Calling it the 21N1 because I made it in 2021 in November and it's the first one I made this month. So, yeah. Anyways, so we have less five main parts. So, over here is the control circuitry, which is um kind of a mess, but well, you know, it's kind of most of the whole shirts are a mess. <laughs> Over here is what's called the uh, registers. There's 15, that's, well, there's 15 of them here, and this one's special. This one is the null register and the built in display. So, whenever you read from it, it will get zero up. Whenever you write to it, it'll write to this, these displays here. And uh, over here in purple, this is the ALU. Yeah, uh, yeah, it just adds, it can subtract, it can uh, add the carry. It can add and shift right, it can do, I think, NOR, OR, AND, and XOR. Finally, over here, this is the program counter. Over here, this is the jump logic and such. And yeah, the mills is the bus, the main data bus. And uh, yeah, uh, so this is a little ROM I made for it. So this is an empty one, as you see here. A little thing, and this is the powers of two program I made as well. Uh, but this is Fibonacci, which most people uh, write as like one of their first things on, the, on a new CPU. So it outputs to this display here, and it requires nothing else other than the CPU and I guess the logic to the code, the ROM. And yeah, I think it requires 25 bytes of of storage. And so this and this is uh, it kind my CPU calculating Fibonacci at. 1000 ticks per second and this does one simulated one cpu clock cycle every 30 ticks it might be able to run it faster but i don't quite know yet okay it does take a little bit is this even running at a thousand ticks uh, don't see any ish i don't see any, i don't see i don't see it complaining I don't know. Just, but yeah. See here, the CPU is doing stuff, and oh, it's gone to eight. Thirteen. So yeah, the Fibonacci sequence. If you don't know, is you start with one and one, and to get the next number in the sequence, you add the two previous numbers. And yeah, now it's at twenty-one. So it goes one, one, two, three, five. 8, 13, 21, and it just so on. And this will go on until it overflows the to the 17th bit, and then it will stop. It will stop this. Uh, this thing here, there's no, my clock doesn't have a stop thing, so it just, it just ends up going in an infinite loop of, an infinite loop of jumping. But anyways. I don't even know what the number. I'm just gonna assume this is the right, these numbers are correct. Because if they aren't, well, that's not good. Right, yeah. The whole point of the computer is to be predictable, and I mean, it worked for the previous, so that number that's actually recognized, so it should work for this as well. And now we're into the upright bits, and these ones will not be able to be calculated on an 8-bit CPU, unless you did some, right? Unless you did some weird stuff to make it work for 16-bit stuff. Normally, it would, it would stop at... 130 something, I forget. Anyways. Yeah. I don't know what else to talk about, but, uh, CPU is 44. Uh, getting closer, in the end. Yeah. Maybe in the future I can build a better thing with this CPU, but yeah, Fibonacci is typically where most people would start. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to see more, um, uh, me doing more stuff with this CPU, please, I guess, leave a comment. Okay, and I'm pretty sure at this point, it's just gonna go on an infinite loop. Yeah, right, because this is, yeah, it's in an infinite loop now. Meaning it's done its stuff, meaning I just turn it off, and yeah. Pretty cool. If you want, I can share the kind of documentation for it, but anyways, um, I don't know, 
yeah, I have much else to say, and so yeah, goodbye.